Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My, Mike, my name is Michael Langdon and today what I'm going to do is talk about agreement in grammar and usage. Now oftentimes when we talk about agreement we're talking about subject verb agreement. But today we're also going to talk about pronoun agreement because they do all kind of fit together. Okay. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with a sentence and then I'm going to kind of explain to you how it works. So, so um, let's say we're going to say it is I. And this is grammatically correct. Um, you don't, you're, technically it's not it is me, it's it is I, even though we may say it is me. So the first thing we would do is we have our subject here, which is singular. Okay, and then we have our verb, our linking verb is, and this is now also singular. And our pronoun here, I, which refers back to it, is also singular. Okay, so all three of these match up, so this is correct, okay. So that's singular. So then we could say something like, we are them. Or actually, technically, it would be, we are they. OK, and so we, here we have plural. Here we have plural. And here we also have our plural pronoun. Okay. So I'm going to erase these. And what we're going to do now is just kind of go over single plural. Okay, so single is is singular, was is singular. As is singular. Okay. Uh, and then you use have with I. Okay. And has you use with like she, he, and so on. Plural would be are, were, okay, have. And had. And had is both. I had a good time. We had a good time. Okay? Same thing. So those are your singular and plural verbs. So if you have a plural subject, oops, you have to have a plural verb, and so on and so forth. The big thing comes when you have something like when you start a sentence with there. So Oops. So since there we don't know how many there is, we have to go pass to there. And since this is plural, then this has to be plural as well. Okay. Now, it works the same way if we have a compound subject. So we would say Jeff and Mary are going to the store. Okay? Now if we change this to or, then we also have to change this to is. Okay? Because now it's one or the other. So it's this or this. Okay, so now you might think that, let's say we have a sentence like Mary or her sisters uh, 
are going to the store. So here we have an issue where this is plural, this is singular. So then what we do is we look for the subject closest, which is sisters, to the verb, and then that's what we use. So we would use a plural verb with this because sisters is closest to this. If this was switched around, so if it was, let's say, Mary's sisters or Mary is going to the store. Okay, so here we have singular, singular subject closest to the verb, singular verb is what we use. Okay? The other thing we want to talk about though are what are called indefinite pronouns. And these are pronouns that we really don't know how many there is, but generally they're all singular. So we have everybody is singular, everyone, we have none, neither, okay, uh, we have someone, somebody, oops, let me fix that, somebody, um, anyone, anybody, okay, so and if you want to, um, of course you can go online and Simply search in indefinite pronouns, and there's a list of them I'm sure you'll find. Yes, you will. Okay. So basically, anybody, anything, everyone, nobody, no one, somebody, something, anyone, everybody, everything, none, nothing, someone. Okay. There's also another category of indefinite pronouns that are always that was weird. And so as you can see we have uh, all of these different kinds of pronouns like all uh, basically that would be a plural um, so as you can see, there's all kinds of indefinite pronouns. The big ones, though, are everyone, everybody, anything, and so on. Okay, so these, are, these ones here are always singular. And like I said, if you want to look it up, you can look it up. The key here is that when we have a sentence like, Everybody is happy. That's a pretty standard sentence, and that is actually how you would say that. So that's how I always think of these is everybody is happy, and that makes sense, okay? Because we have a singular verb, and we have our singular subject, everybody. The problem is when we have a sentence like this. Everybody on the bus forgot their lunch. Okay, so whoops, forgot their lunch. So here we have everybody which is singular, forgot, this is what they did. This is a preposition so it never counts. But here's the thing, this is plural so this is not right because it does not align up with 
the uh, pronoun that it's referring back to, since this is always singular. So technically what we would have to do is we would have to erase this, and we would have to put his or her lunch. Okay? And the problem, the reason why you have a problem with this is because we are really talking about more than one person. There's obviously more than one person on the bus, but that's not how you write it. And so that's the way it works. The other problem that you can run into is something like this, where it's none of the boys, and it should be is going to church, let's say. So none of the boy, whoops, I'm sorry, none of the boys is going to work. So this is a prepositional phrase, you gotta get rid of it. So boys is not the subject. It's none. And how many is none? None is zero, so it's one. So this would have to be a singular verb with our singular subject. Now when it comes to third person pronouns, and not indefinite pronouns, but third person pronouns, or even proper nouns like Jim runs to the store. Okay? So Jim runs to the store. Jim is singular, no S. When a verb is plural like run, it has this S, so it's the opposite. And that's kind of counter counterintuitive. Now the reality though is that with most of these uh, types of words, we actually, what sounds right is right. So it's not really too much you have to worry about. Uh, most of the time when people make mistakes, it's with the indefinite pronouns and the pronoun agreement along with the verb agreement. So that subject, verb, pronoun agreement kind of wrapped up in a nutshell. Uh, this is Michael Langdon, and I am the learning engineer. Thanks for your time. Bye.